Okay, this is Cyrus that I have here with us right now. And Cyrus, can you stand up straight? Okay, I want you to just stay where you are. I'm going to move around. Stand up nice and straight. You can see how yeah, his knees are not open all of the way. His hips are not. Stay straight on alignment. He's completely tilted forward right here, right? You can see that right there in the hip joint. And that's because these legs are super tight. And down here at the knees, they're not open. And so that's our hamstrings, that's our adductors, abductors. It's going to be all of it. Same thing on both sides. You can see it, same thing on both sides. They've done surgeries in the past. Try to stand up straight, just, just like you were. Just try to stand up straight. There you go. See, we're looking for that posture really straight, nice and tight. And you can see he's got this huge curvature in here because everything's pulled forward from the psoas. He really needs to be released. Okay, Cyrus, why don't you go ahead and get on the chair. Okay, so we're working on Cyrus. We saw the front of him in the earlier videos. We're going to just try to check down his spine. The earlier video. Earlier video. So, anyways, I'm checking here. Soren's doing that down first. I'm checking in to see right at where the psoas connects into the spine. Yeah, there's a little bit of sensitivity on that side. Same thing on this side. Right in there. Not so much. Oh, there it is. Okay. So these are where the psoas is going to be connecting in and then working its way out the front to drive the spleen. And, and you can tell from the stance positions he was in that that's what we're dealing with. So what I'm going to work with, Cyrus is still new to the tools. And so his skin, his body, his proprioceptive feeling is a lot further out. And so any extra feeling is a lot. So we're just going in light. I got it at two right now. Cyrus is going to let us know that we need to crank that up. Can we go a little faster, Cyrus? Yes. Okay, we're going to crank that up to three. How's that feel? Good. Now, at three, Cyrus, if I dive in, how does that feel? Uh, Pretty good? Uh, okay, so we're going to come over here where that psoas is at, and we're literally going to Okay, gonna... okay, please, without the noise, just let me know if it's painful or if it's too much. Okay, as long as it hurts and it's not, as long as it's not just constant pain. And we're literally just grabbing right alongside the spine, grabbing that psoas, just kind of stretching it. Now my focus is there. We know we're pushing through all the rest of the muscles that are in this group. Rector spinae group right here. QLs and the I'm just going to stress all the way up here, but now we're just going to kind of stretch them over. You can do it from both sides. I like to switch around sometimes on another side. got to watch your feet on these ch massage chairs. For those of us that don't like to wear shoes. <laughs> I do like to wear shoes, don't get me wrong. It's just you still should be paying attention to where your feet are compared to where other things are at. So. And I do have a different massage chair that's a lot more flexible in what it's capable of doing, but this is the one I have here with me. Okay, how's that feeling, bud? Goodbye. Getting out of the lumbars now, a little bit towards the thoracics. Uh. Now this foot tip that's on here allows me to move quite a bit differently. Quite a bit differently. Uh -huh. Allows me to hit this border right here, the iliac crest. How's that feel right now? Pretty right sensitive? Yes. Okay, now we're going we're going to speed it up a little bit because now we're going to go a little faster speed that allows us to break down that skin and repair it for vibrational pressures so that we can get in a little deeper, right? Yeah, I'm putting all of that stuff over here. I bet it does. So we're just kind of getting in there and I'm right at that iliac crest, right in that zone with the lats and the QL and everything. There's a lot happening in this area, so it's all right at railing over the top of itself. So these videos are dual, so I was talking about, this is Cyrus is a 12 year old, my son in fact. I also have a YouTube channel. He has his own YouTube channel, Cyrus, it's a really long YouTube channel. It has good description. Yeah. And, uh, but we're going to be doing multiple videos with Cyrus over I'm staying here for five weeks. At least a four to five day week one period. Started. And yeah, this is day. This is literally day one of us 
getting in here and working on him and trying to get some get some corrections done in the tendons and the muscles. What I want to do is I want to open this whole area up here so that when we're ready, we've opened up the psoas and we can get on the front side and open it up a little bit more. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? And we're going to be working right along that linea aspera and the femurs right over here. And I'm not even getting in super deep. I'm just testing with my thumb. No, it's weird. I know that. It looks so weird. I'm just testing along, and I've got that IT band, the tensor fossa latte, gluteus medius. I will dive in and lift that too. If you want to. So this is going to go dive into the leg, which means river after this. Pretty chilly out there right now, that's why we're in. We did do some swimming in there, but I just relax. Man. Just let your head support. Nice. Is it not feeling very good right there? A little bit rougher? It's not. This is, right? So this is hitting that gluteus medius border. And that gluteus medius comes down and connects in with our tensor fossa latte, IT band, all the outside of that knee right there. And if that thing's shortened, that's what we're looking at. And that's part of the problems that he's running into. I Gluteus maximus, that's our big driver, but it's the underlying ones that we want, not the big one over the top. We want the I'm, underlying drivers. I'm just learning from my dad. I do not understand any of this. Yeah, a lot of the people that watch this may not understand the words I'm using, but they understand the feeling of feeling good when everything is opened up. They understand how to keep their bodies more healthy. Yeah. You should always be understanding that. right inside that little sacral crust mm -hmm. or directly right to connect. Uh, just driving it in there a little bit. Want to just really relax that border joint. We're going to be doing a lot of different yogic moves as well. I'm going to be teaching him a lot of different... Oh, that more than the gluteus medius, that side. This hurts. We're going to be teaching him a lot of yoga. Not too much? How about right this? Is that better? Yeah. Is that better? Mm -hmm. I feel like you're going down. Well, it's pressing through, and so I've changed the vibration from it being just topical to deeper. Okay. Right? I want to try to, I'm trying to break loose more stuff further in there. Can I do the whole massage with this tool? Probably. Do I want to do the home massage with the tool specifically? Not really. Why? It's just because my hands do detail work and they know what they're doing. And this tool will only do as much as it's capable of doing. So it is what it is. Easy, buddy. Easy. Yeah, I, I, the first couple times can be a little bit excruciating in certain areas. As you're breaking down, there is much better, right? You're, you're just a shaky little bugger, aren't you? <laughs> you ticklish? <laughs> Tickle stuff. <laughs> Kids have this ability to heal at a super, super fast rate. Human, all of us do, and adults do. We just, uh, we retard it really badly by putting the wrong things in it or too much stressors. Kids generally are in a higher state of repair all the time, so it's a little easier to work with them. You're not going to work as much time. You want to just kind of do some overall stuff and get it, get them rocking, get them ready. You know, so I don't end up using the tool to hold it. Keep your face in there. And just check. Chum down. Chum down. Chum. Very ticklish up there on the neck. Ticklish everywhere. <laughs> Okay, I want you to go ahead and come on up. Sorry, I want you to turn around and turn around. So this will show. I want you to get out of the chair and turn around. Oh, okay. this will show too. Because although Cyrus can get in the chair comfortably, he's having issues getting out. Yeah, I'm gonna fall. No, you're not. Because I'm gonna give you a hand, like any every any good practitioner would. Dude. You Sorry. weren't supposed to sit down. You were supposed to stand. Sorry. So this is one of the problems that we're dealing with Cyrus is that his ability to get up without assistance 
because he doesn't have confidence in parts of his body. Yeah. So we're going to work on that. Yep. Come on. Oh, he can't put any pressure down on those parts because he doesn't have them aligned correctly. So we're going to switch them around. We're going to do some stuff in the front here. I don't know if this is going to work, actually, for front-mounted. Well, let's see. Front-mounted tires. Yeah, relax. Let your feet down. Don't do it, don't do it. Can you let your feet down? That's tense. Pretty tense. Can you put your foot down? Okay, so considering how tense Cyrus is, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the typical floor style one for this. So we're gonna Okay, we've got Cyrus in the line position. Which is what? Supine or prone? Supine or prone? I don't know. Supine. Supine, prone. Prone is face down. Oh. Okay. Anyways, what we're, do is we're taking off the rubber tip one and we're switching up. Nope, maybe, maybe, maybe. We're gonna do this one here. The little golf ball looking one, the styrofoam looking one. I do not like the look of that. The client is unsure, have them touch it, their hand first. Feel that? Okay. Feel that? Wait, that, that feels so. Okay, gives them an idea what it feels like. For That's so time. weird, what the heck? Put your legs straight out in front of you, flat. See this problem right here? You can't even drop them down. You see that right there? There's how tight everything is. Just, I want your head down there. Wow. This is so, so weird. What is that? That's just the ball. The only muscle that I'm working on? This is the devastus uh, No, the golf ball feels so weird. It's just a vibration. What the? <laughs> yes. Especially with kids, you're gonna get interesting reactions. But adults as well, you'll find that you'll squirm a bit. Come on, I want you to, please don't slam your head again. <laughs> Slamming your head doesn't help. No, the other thing hurts. Well, you did it. This hurts right here. It hurts a lot or a little bit? It hurts a lot. That's because that the tenseness that he's dealing with is at such a level, that's why I didn't want to really drop down, but we're gonna drop down to the rubber tipped one. Okay. We did that so we could see how it feels when I'm putting pressure on. We may have to put him up on his side just to control some of the movements a little bit. You can also bring the leg up, which I do commonly. I want you to release the tension in your knee against my hand. Let go. It's hard to see exactly what I'm doing. I got it in there running that, that linea aspera. And we could do it a couple ways. We can do it this way where I got my hand holding it up. We could also do it where we're bringing them into a bit of a twist. Okay, what I want is this leg straight there. I want you to twist over. And I want this to just kind of fall back this way, okay? I want you to stay that way. Holy jeez, it's pouring rain. You can set this foot down. By the way, just to let everyone know on this video, it's raining like a literal storm out there. Yeah, it's coming down pretty good out there in the storm right now. So you can see it's cruising along. Just rain. Just cruising along. I don't think I want to do it outside. Working the spot out. We want to work it out. I'm trying to stay in that one place you told me to stay in. Yeah, you want to be in that mind space, that relaxing mind space. I haven't really worked on a lot of the meditation like stuff. We are working on it. So. Good job. Just relax. I just turned it. I just turned it a little bit. Okay, so this isn't the the fullness of what I I'm going to be doing with Cyrus, but come on up a little bit. And then do it the opposite way. Yep, we're gonna flip to the other side now. Okay. Wow, flip. with pouring rain. Do flip flop. Even that flip flop a little bit. He's 
you're already enjoying it, which is very important. I also think the videos while I'm here. Speak louder. I will be doing videos while I'm here on my YouTube channel. Very good, and we'll link that as soon as we get that channel link set up correctly. Yep. I believe it's fire recording. No, it's not fire recording anymore. It's from Rhino Games. Rhino Games, that's right. I had a hard time finding it. The Z, you separate, when you put in Rhino Game without any spaces okay. right there, then put a space and then the Z. That's how it's stuck. Game space Z. When, when it goes to the game, space it for the Z part, but for the rest of it, don't space any of that. That's how you find my channel. Okay, good job. Okay, let's go on your back again. All in your back. Okay, legs out, straight out. And you can already see his legs have gone down some. They've already gone down some, right there alone. Just that little bit, and we haven't even worked up all of everything. We're going to set this area. A lot more ticklish, huh? I want you to move your body that way. Top of your body that way. Top of your body. Chest. A little bit of extraction. Okay. Have that okay, so the place we're heading for is the, where the hamstrings connect. Stop. It's where the hamstrings connect. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, it is known as the sit bone or the ischial tuberosity. That's incredibly tense down there. Put that leg straight out. Yeah, let it flat on the ground. Leave that one down. Incredibly tense is an understatement. So, to take some of the strain off, we allow the knee to flex. Now we're going to be, you've got to be cautious of this because I'm going to be coming right in here. Cannot. Keep your knee chested. Right here. Ischial tuberosity. Right there. It's a tough spot. And I normally will grind it with my hand. I'm going to see if we can break some of it down. you got to know you're hitting the right spot. And otherwise you're going to hit the anal mount. You can have a very interesting conversation. So you got to know where you're going. Map it out correctly, figure it out ahead of time, and then get in the right spot. If I'm up on table, it's a little bit easier. Can you put your foot up on my shoulder, please? Well, and if the person then you're, that way you can get in there and check the, where you're at. If the person you're trying to do this to help them, tell them to put their fingers on their nose and hold their breath. No. No, breathe. breathe. Because that actually makes it so you don't laugh. Calm, relax. Relax these muscles. Okay, so now that we've kind of gotten in there, we've broken out a little bit of the muscle structure. Relax this leg too. Okay. Gonna get in there again. A little bit more. We're still using the rubber tip, so we're not really using a very aggressive tip. We've got a lot of different ends tools that we can use, okay? So now with that in there, we can go in and check did we actually break down any of those hamstrings? A little bit, a little bit. Okay, straighten that leg out, please. Okay, we didn't get an increase there, but I didn't expect anything. We're gonna do that side. This is a little slower than I normally would be working because I'm working in mix with somebody who is very floppy. Floppy! Flip flop! Same thing, go in, we know where that is. Right on that bone. This is that bone I tell everybody you gotta sit on. Do you actually hold your nose to laughing? Alright, that's good to know. Sarah says holding it at your nose keeps you from laughing. It's true. I have never heard of that, but that seems to work for him, so that's good. And I'm just diving into those. I mean just diving into those hamstrings. I really want to stretch them. Much better, legs straight out. Both legs straight out. Okay, we've gained a little bit. We really have gained a little bit. Should I have taken measurements? Um, I'm gonna have you go ahead and turn over so you're face down, please. Okay. Move. So we do a lot of work in the, there we go. When we were in the chair, we did a lot of work and we were able to break down a lot of areas, but when you're dealing with these hips in this lower area, it's really, really hard. You can have your head to your side, it's fine. So you're not facing it. What we're gonna do, so 
We're gonna check. I, I need you to leave your leg loose so I take control. I want you to loosen everything up here, okay? Just relax. You can see how tense he is, okay? So we wanna see. Can he touch his own butt comfortably? Well, he's pretty close. He's not bad. Let go. So what we're gonna do is just put a little distraction in there. Oh, oh. Shh, 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 shh. Calm down. This is something that he's never had done before, so this is quite a bit of work. But he has done knee work. Automatically starts getting a little bit more out of that. We're just checking it. Just checking it. And then we're going to put another bind in there. Don't tense with me. Stay relaxed as much as you can. Okay, backing up so you can relax. So we're doing a multi thing because I am bringing the toes over, which alone is quite a bit of work for him. Quite a bit of work. You'd have to understand the histology of him. He has a lot of things that are being done in his body or have been done. The pins. Now you can see this one here just immediately. Boom. No problem at all. Right up in there. Okay. So let your foot go. I want to see my hand. We still put the bind in there because we need to open up those hamstrings, which means we have to open up the quads a little bit. Now we're going to double the bind by getting the toes. Breathe. I want you to take a nice deep breath. Let it go. Deeper breath. Let it go. Take a breath right where my arm is so you feel like you're relaxing that spot when you're breathing, okay? Okay, now give me pressure with your toes away. Push, 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 the other direction. Push into my hand. All the way, push, 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 like push my hand away. There we go, okay. Just pieces, just pieces of getting things into play, okay? So the next step for him we're going to bring his leg forward. Ooh. And we're going to find that ischial tuberosity again. Now we're going to... I don't think it can. Oh, wow. He brought it up. Okay. That's good. That's really nice. So we're going to go for the ischial tuberosity because it's now down. It's right down here. So now we're at the anal mount. There's the ischial tuberosity right there. Hey. That's the bone. Yes, that's what we want. We want that bone to release its tension, okay? Okay, we lift that knee up there. Again, we're using the ball one, so we can be slappy. We want to be a little more cautious. I am holding him, semi-holding, not super holding, and I want to keep his toes flexed. Not extended. Fuck you, buddy. Nice. Doesn't feel nice. It feels. What does it feel like? A lot of anvils falling on you. Yes. All right. We're working on some stuff here. Okay. While we're here, we can do some hand work on that linea aspirin. Literally, just pulling and separating. Eventually, we'll use this tool here. It's more the chisel style one for doing that. But right now, he's not prepared for that. I do not like where we do that one. Like where this one, the tenderizer? The meat tenderizer. Can we not use that one? Oh, you'll like it when the time comes, trust me. You're going to be in heaven when you finally feel it. <laughs> this this feeling right here should not hurt. This is all, that linear aspirin we talked about. Right here. This should be... Stretch and this is looser than the first time I ever worked on him now, mind you. Oh, cool. That was on Thanksgiving. Like... It's quite some time ago. I'm working right here at the oh. tensor fascia latte where it connects in and becomes part of this big tendus ten injury that can talk about the... pop trailer. Did you? Good. I like to hear that. Let's bring that leg back out. I feel like we're gaining something there. Much there's definitely a hard end feel when it hits though, which is odd. Okay, we're gonna come to this side. Oh, you want me to lift it up as high as I can? Yeah, why don't you go ahead and do that. Wow, look at that, really far up there. That's nice. Hey, kick my butt still. Yeah, we still kick his own butt. But, 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 <laughs> the ischial tuberosity incites a lot of pain. It's that hamstring pain. Why do I not hold my nose? Hey, I want you to calm down. Okay, that just All these extra it. hysterics. It just hurts so All right, hard. you need to breathe. You need to say, ah, oh, but that's too much, or you need to say, 
I need to take a deep breath and relax. But the hysterics is only making me more tense, and we are working towards releasing that tension. That's our goal. It's to release that tension, not to gain it. I need to get this breath. So, there's a lot of work involved in there. And feel on the backside and the hamstrings right where they're just locked up. Caught on that femur. It's not a fun spot. I work mine. It's it's interesting. It has its. Come on. Don't. I, I would like you to just calm down a little bit. Boy, that's a long ways down. Look at that. <laughs> we got a lot of days, but we don't want to. We want to see. Flat like, pinch. Left straight flat. Pinched in a bad way. I mean. I, no, like it, you pinched the... Oh, I pinched you when I did the it. Skin. Yeah. Okay. Now, we're going to do the feet. The feet? The feet. That's going to be hard because my feet are incredibly ticklish. Well. Still ticklish? <laughs> no. You can't have the whole way. No. I think, generally, uh, so I stand on my client's feet pretty often. So I'm gonna move this back a little bit further so you can see the feet better. I actually stand right across them usually. The feet. So. I believe it. You can be careful with this ball doing this work because you can end up annoying some of the tarsals in there, metatarsals. I'm not gonna say you're gonna damage them, they're just. You smack the bone a little hard and they're not going to feel the best. That's for sure. I like to also bring it up. That way I can flex it myself. But I'm not doing anything to his foot that I would either try or can't do on my own foot. Man, this just jammed up in there. You're gonna be like a playground of work for the next month, I can tell you that. How's that feeling, buddy? Feeling a little better? Yeah. Say it again? It feels nice. Feels nice. That's what he said. I want you to hear that on video. He said it feels nice. It feels nice. Okay, other foot. Exact same thing. So let's put on my leg. Move this here. It's just trying to rest me out. See now, it hasn't been worked, so it's going to take a little while to get it warmed up. The other one's been worked. It's warmed up. It knows what's happening. Really, that ticklish, Cyrus? <laughs> Sometimes tickling is showing us too what's going on inside, you know, as far as pain. Remember, if you're, especially if you're doing floor work, you can use your body for a lot of stuff. But you should be sitting correctly and feeling comfortable. Cyrus, I will pin that leg. Part of this meditation stuff is, is them learning how to, especially a kid, learning how to control their overt emotions like kicking and stuff like that like he was doing he needs to bring that in and calm it down and figure out what's actually going on this is his body this isn't mine i'm helping him work on it that's true but it's still his body he needs to know how 
things work and rather than respond in the way he has or you know just kicking and screaming and running or joking he needs to think about what it is i too have certain ticklish things i have to deal with less so when people are working on me as it turns out you just open the muscle knot and then it closes itself yeah let me know if something tries to knot up okay oh, yeah i feel something trying to knot up tell me where Right, right where I am or up here? Right, right, where, right where the ball was? Right in here? It's right where my foot is on Okay, right here. Yeah, it's trying to, there's a muscle knot. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It's, it's coming off that plantar tendon stuff right here. It's trying to knot up. Oh yeah, but from my YouTube channel, if you don't see like any type of game thing and you get type of confused i'm working on that that's just coming soon okay so we're going to switch to another tool for doing the feet i like to do it fast Wait, which tool is that? you tell me which one you think it is without looking at my box meat <laughs> it's the meat tenderizer that's correct it is tenderizer. But doesn't that feel weird? Weird way, huh? Yeah, after a while, you realize after your the pain breaks down, you start feeling all of the little micro movements that are in there that are busting up the tendons and muscles that are all adhered to each other, all the extra acetylcholine. And it starts to vibrate things loose. And you're like, wow, there's so much more freedom in there. Even his foot looks better as it's vibrating. It actually looks more free. That's how it's supposed to look. How does it feel? How's your foot feeling? And is it just vibrating or is it hard to tell? Tenderizing. Tenderizing. Yeah. See, look, and I'm going to go right around the heel. Yeah. Think about where that heel is in there. What's going on? We know where the meat's at. I need you not to be pulling it away from me at this point. And I'm, you see me squeezing it in multiple places because I really want to know where, where I'm at, being a little more cautious, especially using a tool that's a little rougher. your other foot you can just set that I'm gonna stay on the same side That'll work I've checked the video make sure everything's working awesome because it does well but I didn't you see Soren in the background he'll be the next candidate to be worked on he has a whole different version of things going on with his body what do you think of that Cyrus pretty wild huh but does it hurt? No. Of course, my goal is to help these boys learn their bodies, understand their bodies, and be able to work on them themselves. Because these tools, I mean, this one's a little tougher to use, but I'm sure Cyrus will learn how. I need somebody to work on my back. I'm going to teach Cyrus how to do it. So he can work on me. It's not revenge. <laughs> it can't be much of revenge if I'm doing something that's nice for you. Yeah, I know. I'm going to do it very nice too. Unless I don't know which tool. A lot of focus. I have it. I have specific focuses that I'm doing for what? specific reasons. What was that? Uh, it's just vibration. No, what was that other noise with the vibration? Oh, my hand on the bottom side, slapping. <laughs> Okay, so it's a tough area of working right here, right? We're going to be going right through those gas rocks. Yep. Okay. Is the second contender going to? Not yet. Okay. Then I will just keep on being more fun, I guess. Yep. He's going to hang out for a second because that's what I told him to do. Okay, I'm going to have their leg. Second, second one to this foot. I think that's the ball, or the ball one. This area, I'm going to tell you, for most people, again, another one of those tough areas, and that's why I went with the non-tenderized around the end. It's still fairly tight. 
pattern. It doesn't have any extra give to it, like the ball or the rubber tip one. But this is the gas rocks, and they do need tension. As I come in, obviously, I'm getting closer into the Achilles tendon, so the soleus. That one's the ball one, right? No, this is not. This is just the flat disc. Oh. And the reason I decided to use this on him rather than the ball one right now is just want to kind of liven these areas up. There's so much to work on. So many different parts of the body and these guys that needs to be worked on. Okay, move that leg around. Contrary to what I usually tell you, Cyrus, move that leg around. Let it go, relax it. Relax it, that's enough. How's it feeling, bud? Good. Are you fighting me on purpose? No, I'm not trying this to This foot, let it go. Let it relax, let the toes relax. This foot. That's how tense it is. It almost feels like he's tightening. And he might be a little bit without realizing. No, it actually is. I'm letting it fully relax. Yeah. My foot's just so tense. That's how much of a flex. This is what we're trying to do is get this massive flex out of here. Let it go. Let the other one go too. If you tense one, you're going to tense the other one more than likely. Not until you get to where you're really good with it when you do that. We're going to check range of motion in there. We're going to get through some axial motion stuff. Check the foot. Tell it's still got it pretty tied up. But this one, uh, this one has a screw. I can't remember for sure. Definitely more allowance freedom. There's still an end motion here that's a little too tight. Soft end feel, but it's still too tight. We're gonna go for the psoas next, which requires and we can do it a couple ways. I like, you know, considering he's going to be flexing on us, we're going to turn around and drive my elbow right into the head of the femur, and then my hand on his calf, up on his toes, and lift. And that really targets that psoas, iliopsoas. Come on now. Just relax. I can't. I need you to breathe. Three big breaths into my arm like you're trying to get my arm off with your breath. <laughs> Let it go. Do it again. Do it again. Something like that. <laughs> I can take the breath out. Come on, I need you to relax that leg. We're getting closer. We're not getting quite all the way, but we're getting closer. Of course. A crusher over here that can go all the way. And that one had screws in the ankle. You can see. I go to the other side. I'm going to turn the camera angle just a shred. Doing the exact same move. Not so painful, huh? Is it the flex of the toes that got you on the other one? Yes, it is. Yeah, and we're, what we want is this leg flat. We want it to be completely flat, no space underneath. That's what we're looking for. And right now, we're not getting there. We're getting closer. That's a lot closer than it was. I mean, it's a humongous amount of change in a very short period of time. Just going to check the borders. This would be normal. We want to soften all the muscles. I mean, we're kind of done in the chair anyway. My body is kind of like jello. Yeah, go ahead and turn on over jello and I want you back on the mat. Flat. Why didn't you just call me jello? So you can call me like jello. Yeah, but you said this when you call me jello. Okay, I want your legs straight out in front of you. There you go. Okay, you can see again we're not getting that complete. And that's, you can see it right in that ankle. 
refuses to come all the way up, which means it's not allowing the release here. Same thing on this side, and that's going to be a soleus issue, which just takes a bit of time. We are brought down. <laughs> that would hurt, that would hurt, that would hurt. Yeah, I'm not surprised. That so that's his iliopsoas. Yeah. Okay. This is going to be, a, this is something that's going to take a little bit more work, okay? So I need my hand here. Can we not just do it right there right now? I need you to pay attention to my breathing. And as you breathe, you're going to breathe where my hand is, okay? You're going to breathe air into that spot. Release the tension out. Breathe air in. Let the tension out. Bring the air in. Let the tension out. And keep doing that. Soften your lips a little bit. Good job. Go like straight. Just let it go straight. Come in here. No, we're not. We're almost there. Okay. Almost. Almost. Okay. So the next trick is I got to get right up inside that pelvis. So I'm at the top of the head of the femur. So you, you worry about your breathing. Nothing else. So the breathing is what you're breathing for. And I'm literally pushing down on it, distracting it away as I bring the foot up. Breathe. Let it go. I think it'll feel better on that side. It will because that side's so flexible for this. Which is odd because this side can bend back. Cool. I need you to lean. I need I need control of your leg. I need total control, there we go, of your leg. I'm not gonna pop it or anything, I'm just trying to get the range of motion checked. <laughs> Okay. I'm just pushing in. Okay, so yeah. You got one or two Bigger core position and you can get really tense in there, isn't it? And so what's happening is this has got going through here, the nuchal notch, he's got the tendons and the muscles and the nerves and arteries, everything going right through there. And iliopsoas is swollen, pressing on all of that. And that's what's causing a huge part of the problem. So we're going to keep our leg in a figure four position, get that one dropped. In fact, we're going to do a double figure four, speed up the process. We got quite a bit more flex. No, just turn apart. Right, right, that's good. <laughs> no on that leg. Great. You should just put it down, yeah. That is good. <laughs> okay, so stop. I'm trying to get into a spot. So what I'm going after is the more anterior portion of the adductors. We want to be at the top of them. You're going to be really, really close to the to the organal mounts. So you need to be cautious of that. More for the fact that it's going to be painful and you don't grab the organs, you're grabbing the muscles and tendons. That's where you're going. You're not grabbing anything. Right now we're getting our fingers right up against that border. Right up against the border. Right there. Let that leg go. And then we're literally... Folding it in. Okay, let your leg go. I need you to drop it again. Keep that one there. I'm overloading him a little bit. I need that leg to come back down. The other leg. There you go. That's a lot of work. Didn't put a huge amount of weight. All it was, is, as you know, is just a bit of strain. And so he's going to feel a little bit of a tearing inside of there. Feel a little tearings inside there, like little tiny sh sharp tearings. It okay. feels like a lot. I need you to stop so that I can get those the adductor rubbed out of there. <laughs> right here, right there. You need to chill, dude. It's hurt a lot. Okay, well then I have a leg. We're gonna. He's only so much his body is capable of really being worked at this stage. Let that knee fall. 
He's only takes so much right now. He's pretty young. And he's still got to work. Those adductors are so tight for so long, and that's the reason you can't stand up on your own. It should not be like that. It should not be like that. I want you to come up on your knees. On your knees. Okay? We'll just sit. There you go. This position puts a lot of strain on them. It makes you work, doesn't it? Yeah. And he'll have to sit up because he can only do it for so long because we're working on that. I want you to bring your knees together. Knees together. Okay? Now you're going to sit this on these. This is a significant amount of work. I'm not going to lie. Okay, come on up. Oh, I did touch it. probably need to get up. Come on. Get up. This is the situation we're dealing with right here. The getting up part. Yes, we are. You can bring the one blade up, but will he get the other one up? And he wants to throw it. But the problem is, Cyrus, yeah. you're trying to throw all your weight forward and throw your leg. What you should be doing is putting those toes up in the back. Which is part of the problem that you're dealing with because you can't spread your toes correctly. Yeah. Another issue. If, if you look because right here, if you do it, I can always. Well, it's only because you have to I open that foot up. I can always put like three toes whenever I do this. If you look. Yeah. I can always spread. That's because you can't turn the heel out. That's an adductor issue as well. <laughs> yeah. And you can't get your toes straight down. So let's work on those. That is also a problem. So how we work on that? is we work on sitting like this. Yeah. See that? I'm forcing my toes out, even if they're twisted in, even if they're all twisted in, I force them to come out, and I make sure all of the toes have contact, and then I just work on stretching them out. Now, I can do that part of it, obviously, so you're going to be sitting up on them like this often, and you're just going to rock on them a little bit. Okay. Because eventually, you're going to rock yourself up. So I want you to sit like I was, on your knees, toes up. Okay, so what I mean by that now is, I'm just going to move them. See how I'm perceptively putting them in their correct positions? Yeah. And do the same thing here. You get a release as much as you can. Very hard. Very hard for him to get his toes in there because he cannot, yeah. he cannot... Yeah. Dorsal flex with it. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that's a problem. That's what we're it working on, is trying to break that dorsal flex issue and everything else, and that is soleus. Yes. Which is hamstrings. Yes. Okay. Now I have a chance to use a tool to work on you. I'm going to work on your brother next. Okay. All right. That's it for Cyrus Goodbye. for now. Bye. <laughs>